So someone from church gave us a drum kit, uh, like a youth size drum kit for the boys to play around on because they've been saying they want to learn to play the drums. They all take piano lessons um, and Dean drums in our church worship band from time to time. To, from time to time um, so he'll teach them how to play the drums and we both can play the guitar so maybe they'll play the guitar at some point but from the piano we're gonna go to the drums so Uriah's gonna show us a little rhythm that dad taught him good So the boys have pulled the kayaks out to kayak in the pond for a little bit. It's such a nice day and Isaiah was able to get Charlie in the kayak with him. This is the first time <laughs> Charlie has been out on the water in a boat. So he's doing pretty well. He's sitting, I think. I'm just waiting for him to jump out though and start swimming to shore. <laughs> it's gonna be funny. When he gets bigger, he might, he might can come in and jump out. Yeah, he's almost full size. Oh. No. Hey, you can't come out there. Boy. He's gonna fall out. Uh. Tell him to sit down, Zay. <laughs> don't, 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 Charlie. Tell him to sit. <laughs> yes, it's funny. He just wants to see what's going on. He, he's like, I'm the kid. He's like, I, I'm the king of the boat. Hey, Zay. Isaiah. Isaiah, you can let him jump out, babe. He'll swim to shore. And if you want to come closer, then he'll come out on the land. If you want to come back this way. Maybe Charlie will, like, swim. There he is. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie. It's muddy. Charlie, what happened? It's gonna get you all wet. Was that good? Was that fun? He doesn't know what to think about that. Charlie, what happened? You get out and get cold. Water was cold. It's actually Daddy. really warm out here today. <laughs> Don't let him bite you, Ed. It's really warm out here today. It's probably 70. So he should dry pretty quickly. <laughs> so we are making efforts to get our pond cleaned up this year and Dean's dad is over here cleaning out the little drainage line I guess call it um so let's see the water pours in from well pours in it trickles in from a little stream right through here it comes in here and it dumps a bunch of dirt, like sediment right through here. And because the pond has not been maintained, it's just built up over the years. Um, another thing that's slowing down the drainage of the pond is all of this green plant. This is called carrot feather. It's an aquatic plant and it's very pretty, especially when it gets growing in the summer. But like most aquatic plants, you have to keep them maintained, cleaned out, and only growing in specific spots. Like I said, this pond has not been maintained for years, so 
in the summer when it grows, it completely covers the entire pond. Like all, like our water comes up to about right through here. So it completely covers all of this. So we hired somebody and Dean has gotten out here and he's like dug this parrot feather stuff out. So you can see it all through here. It's all dead and black and gross looking. Um, but it's a lot of work. It's very difficult to rake all of that stuff out. Not only that, but because the sediment comes in right here and it's not been cleaned out, there's like four feet of thick mud on the bottom. So when he gets out there with his waders, he's just sinking and trudging through thick mud and it's, it's just not working very well. So we are cleaning out this dish. This was one of the projects we wanted to do is get this dish that runs from here and it goes all the way down under our driveway. It goes out back through our property and into the creek, the main creek back there. So this part, is pretty clogged up with like not weeds I mean there are weeds but grasses like bulbs are over there a lot of iris bulbs daylily bulbs are over there anyway it's just really clogged up so we need to clean it out so that the pond empties better and then as that lowers the level of the pond we are going to have another guy who is our neighbor um, who's really good with heavy He's going to come in and he's going to dig out the pond and clean all of this gunk and extra dirt out. Um, so we have to build some little platform things that will go out here. So his backhoe excavator, I don't know what they are, something will crawl out onto the pond and be able to reach um, quite far out here in the middle. I don't know if we'll be able to get all the way out. We may end up having like a little island in the middle of the pond and then he'll clean all around it. I don't know. But anyway. So he's getting that done. Last night, um, Dean's dad was digging and he hit our water line, which we didn't know was there. None of us knew it was there. But he hit it and broke it, so we lost water. Dean had to rush to town to grab something to fix it. And he fixed it. So here we are at the beginning stages of our pond project. Hopefully by the end of the year, our pond will be really nice and clear and we'll have some aquatic plants planted in there but not overgrowing so yeah oh, this one's going to take the ladder because it's got wheels on both sides Oop. What do you have? Just the bracket things yeah. to pull down and the lights. And yeah, there's a. There's a oh, and the there. automatic thing. And then you can start doing the ceiling. And then it's, it's going to be a mess. Destruction time. So he got in the top of the. I guess the. What is that called? A vent? At the top of the roof? It's more like. What is it called? A vent? The fireplace vent? At the top, he yeah, came in. Cap. Yeah, yeah, and he flew down into the wood stove. So, what, a bird? Yeah. Well, look, isn't he pretty? He's a bluebird. Yeah, I thought it was a snake in there. What? Did you hear him flapping around? Yeah. Oh, what? Charlie, what do you think of that guy? Mm. What is that? Oh, ah. Ah. Oh, wow. He flew out of our wood stove. Oh no. And I show Oliver. Did he offend you? Did he offend you? That's oh, pretty. No. That's right. What do you think of that guy? He'll bite your feet. No, he won't. He's too scared to sit. Oh, trust him. me. Really um, cool. Once a mouse tacked at you, though. That's cool. Yeah, I literally stood up and did it. Oh, God. That was upsetting. That was fun. Oh, make sure bite that, your finger. Make sure that all of it. Would it hurt? Maybe a little. Well, the teeny tiny pinch. sharp beak. Charlie's not sure what they're meant to be sharp. But something's lying. 
Are you ready? For what? To go? To the park? Yeah. Show me how high you can swim, right? Hey, do you like, hey, mama, do you like how oh. it's going? When I go backwards, it goes forwards. And when I go forwards, it goes backwards. Yeah. That's pretty cool looking. You're going so high. Be careful, please. I want to get that high to jump. Not from that height. I've jumped from higher. Oh, that would be dangerous. <laughs> Mama, I'm still thinking of the kid over there. <laughs> okay, you going to go say hi to him in a minute? Did you fall last time you jumped? Yeah, I jumped in there like this. <laughs> okay. Oh, I definitely I could see it from here. <laughs> Oh my. I caught! He's a little off. <laughs> so close the first time. Like, I mean, nothing but that. Come on! Uh, good job. You got it that time. Stay there. It makes me mad. <laughs> Keep practicing. Uh oh. Bird feathers. All over the place and right behind my hosta. Lots of bird feathers. Oliver has been on the prowl. Well, speaking of Oliver, there he is. Ollie James, are you spending your days right here where the bird seed falls so you can get a birdie or two? That's not very nice of you. I don't like it at all. Oliver James, I'm talking to you. I see you. You hear me? Yep, you. I know what you're doing here. Napping like you're all innocent. Like flying here. Look at all these bird feathers down here. Where? Right here. Holy oh, mess! I feel like Oliver caught a bird. Probably. What a stinker. Oh, that's a ball oh, that got on the chimney.
Did S come out? Huh? Did S come out? Yeah. on here to wrap up this week's vlog as you could tell we had quite the busy week um, kind of catching up on or getting started on in some cases a lot of our spring projects that we have to get done and we just um, had lots going on in preparation for the Easter holiday um, thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel be sure you click the bell to turn on notifications so you know when I post other weekly vlogs um, anyway so thank you guys again for watching hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you in next week's vlog bye Thank you.